Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to start looking at a new project. It's part of the One Wheeled Skateboard. So today I'm going to focus on the electronic speed controller. I think I may have mentioned in talking about the One Wheeled Skateboard previously that I'm looking to use a brushless hub motor for the one wheel on the skateboard and I've had a look around and there are electronic speed controllers for scooters and electric bicycles and things like that however I'm not too sure whether they'll be suitable so I'm going to just jump in with a little R&D project and look at building my own brushless uh, speed controller. So let's just jump in and have a look at the uh, data sheets and the schematic and PCB layout that I've come up with for this uh, R&D project. Designing this electronic speed controller, I had a couple of options. Um, the first one was to look at trying to do all of the control in software using something like a microcontroller to uh, determine the uh, switching of an output stage to directly control the motor and look at doing the closed loop speed control within the microcontroller or the other option was to look at employing some custom chips to do that function and on looking around I decided to go down the track of using some dedicated hardware because I just think it's going to give a better solution in the long run. I'll be using an Arduino or a microcontroller of some sort uh, to control the uh, balance algorithms and everything like that, like I have with the robot. And at the end of the day, I would have to put, either put in another one, I'd suggest, to actually uh, drive the brushless motor um, outputs, or it could get very uh, nasty from a timing point of view trying to do it in the one uh, uh, microcontroller. So I, I figured let's go down this track of building a motor controller using uh, dedicated hardware. Um, the interface uh, points um, should give sufficient control I believe. So anyway on checking the hardware available I've come up with uh, this MC33035 brushless DC motor controller chip and it look it seems to do everything that's required if we just scroll down a little bit it, it's it's fit for purpose 10 to 30 volt operation I am actually planning to run it with at 36 volts uh, 36 volt battery but as we look further down through the data sheet we'll see that that won't be a problem in the way I plan to use the actual chip. Under voltage lockout, it has its own internal reference for supplying sensor power, error amplifier for closed loop servo applications. I am planning to use the closed loop uh, control. It has high current drivers at the output, cycle by cycle current limiting, current sense reference, uh, internal thermal shutdown, selectable sensor phasings. If we just scroll down to the basic the schematic uh, diagram, as you can see, uh, speed, uh, speed input, um, enable, uh, forward and reverse, and brake. I believe that with those uh, signals, I should be able to pretty much do everything I want. And it means that the Arduino can focus on the actual control algorithm and basically just determining how to drive these actual 
um, signals rather than actually calculating the phased outputs and 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 everything so it's probably also the more sensible track to to go you'll notice that this is reliant on the brushless motor having uh, hall effect sensors that's not a problem I've, all the motors i've looked at and will be planning to use will have hall effect sensors so no issues there now if we scroll down a little further here you'll note the vcc supply voltage will actually work up to 40 volts so no issues there the 30 volt rating has got more to do with the bottom drive supply voltage on pin 18 which is limited to 30 volts however you'll see in the schematic that we're actually supplying that with a zener regulated voltage of 18 volts anyway so no issues with running it at 36 volts um, all good so it does seem uh, fit for purpose the other main device we'll be using is this MC33039 which is a closed loop brushless motor adapter now basically this is a device that's designed to produce a speed signal uh, depending on the motor speed and if we uh, basically just scroll down to its um, representative circuit okay so here is the block diagram for the actual device and you'll see that on the left side here we've got the actual position sensor um, inputs from the Hall effect devices on the motor and through this gating circuitry here and the flip-flop what it's actually doing is controlling the charge or the voltage that's across this capacitor CT the timing capacitor and then that's buffered um, out to this F out point so the faster the motor is going the more charges in CT and the higher the voltage is at F out and that F out signal is used um, in the in our circuitry in cl closed loop control mode so that the 33035 can control the motor speed accurately here is the actual uh, circuit diagram that we'll be using for the electronic speed controller now I've broken it into two components I've broken it into the control board and a power board so the power board basically just has the MOSFETs mounted on it and also the uh, current shunt for monitoring the current so you'll see the two main devices here the 33035 in the center and the 33039 at the top here and it's wired um, pretty much as per the um, data sheets so Hall effect sensors come in and are fed to the 33039 which gives a signal on F out which is brought back to the error amplifier and those signals are also fed into the MC33035 uh, for determining the phase switching of the actual motor controller. Uh, we've got timing capacitor and resistor uh, for the oscillator on the chip here and here we have the uh, feedback resistors on the error amplifier for the motor control speed bringing out most of the signals forward reverse enable speed request fault and break um, they're all brought out onto p3 a connector which will be fed to the arduino and the other signal that we have on here is the speed request now the speed request is a signal between the ground and the VREF so we've also got those going out on the uh, P3 connector and the Arduino will need to 
generate that speed request signal. Now, for testing purposes, we'll be just using a pot initially. The power supply for um, VC, which is not actually allowed to go above 30 volts, is a simple Zener regulated uh, supply. So uh, resistor from VCC, 18 volt Zener diode, and a decoupling capacitor um, just control that VC signal to be 18 volts so that all of the voltages on the device are within the data sheet parameters. Okay, I've uh, left the um, phasing uh, select pin here. I'll bring that out to a header and it can just be jumpered or left, uh, left unjumpered if need be. Okay, the rest of the circuitry is basically related to driving the MOSFET. So um, three resistors um, out of the top drive and, um, and uh, the three other res resistors returning up to VCC and that creates the drive signals for Q4, 5 and 6. And then the bottom drive signals, again current limiting resistors uh, out to Q1, Q2, Q3, and we have some Schottky diodes uh, here to uh, stop any transients. Those signals are bought out to a, another connector, P2, which uh, goes to the actual power board itself. On that connector, we're also bringing back the current measurement from the shunt. Let's have a look at the power stage schematic. So the power stage schematic is, is quite, uh, quite straightforward. There's a connector here for the battery voltage and we have a thousand mic capacitor and also a, capacitor, a smaller capacitor here for decoupling. And down here we have our current shunt and we have a voltage divider and a little bit of um, filtering on R2 to develop that current measurement signal which is uh, fed back on the connector. The drives for the all the MOSFETs basically just come out and uh, straight onto the gates of the MOSFETs. We have another connector here for the actual motor. So that's the basic circuit. I've developed uh, PCBs for uh, both these as well. So just first of all, just having a look at the control PCB, a fairly small and um, tidy circuit board, Hall effects uh, sensors, the control connector for the Arduino and the drive connector for the actual MOSFETs. So that's the uh, circuit board for the control. If we take a look at the power uh, circuit board. Again, it's fairly compact as well. All the MOSFETs basically lined up on the back side of the PCB so they can be fairly easily mounted to a heat sink. Power supply voltage, the um, capacitor here. R1 is the uh, current shunt so it's uh, planned to be quite a bit larger. Motor drive connector and here is the uh, control connector. Uh, you'll note that uh, some of the tracks have been widened um, because they'll be carrying uh, larger currents. So that's basically the control uh, board. Now both these boards have actually been ordered or on their way and I've actually got all of the components to actually build these up. Apart from the current shunt resistor, but we're pretty much good to go putting this project together. So as soon as those boards hit the ground, um, we'll be getting involved with it. Now, you'll note on the, on the uh, control PCB that those two chips are both uh, surface mount devices. I've never worked with surface mount devices in the past so this is going to be a little bit of a learning experience uh, for me. I've done quite a bit of reading and watched um, a number of YouTube videos so anyway it'll be fun to uh, 
to have a go at uh, some surface mount uh, devices. Okay, well, look, I'll sign off for now. But uh, as I say, as soon as those boards arrive, we'll get into this project. And uh, I'm going to have to locate a uh, an actual motor as well to um, to test this out with. So I might uh, shoot off and have a look at eBay and see if I can find a little hobby motor um, to test this with. Okay, cheers. Mm -hmm.